Cape Coast is the capital of the central region of Ghana. It is known for its role in the transatlantic slave trade. Cape Coast was one constituency until 2012 when the constituency was divided into north and south. Cape Coast South constituency is a predominantly fishing area and the capital of Cape Coast Metropolis. It overlooks the Gulf of Guinea and the language of the people is Fanti. The traditional names of the city are Ogwa and Kotokraba. The main market of Cape Coast called Kotokraba Market is located in Cape Coast South. The parliamentary contest is between the incumbent member of parliament on the ticket of the NDC, Weku Rikit Hagen, and the mayor of Cape Coast, NPP Senest Arthur. Proud to the division of the Cape Coast constituency, the NPP's Christian Churcher held the seat for three consecutive terms, thus from 1996 to 2004, and the NDC's Ibo Bartenodro took over in 2008. After the constituency was divided, Kweku Rikit Higgin won the South seat in the 2012 general elections. Since then, the NDC has been holding the fort till now. Even though both parliamentary candidates have started campaigning vigorously from house to house and community to community, constituents tell City News they would vote based on policies and not on party lines. For the past years, Cape Coast, has, I don't know whether it's intentional, that Cape Coast is lacking virtually everything. Fa talk of factories, even the last one, I mean Sangari, just collapsed. So, honestly speaking, Cape Coast is training leaders, training great men and women in Ghana, yet Cape Coast has nothing, virtually nothing. And this is the time. The politicians can't deceive us anymore. They can't use the lacoste, they can't use the t-shirt, the alcohol, the uh, 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 basin and anything that they think they can excite us with. This is the time. The youth of Cape Coast, we are up and we are watching. They can't deceive us anymore. The people of Cape Coast, remember, Cape Coast is there or was there before any of the two political parties. So come December, December 7, vote for development, vote for development, and vote for Cape Coast. The decision not to vote itself is an act of democratic expression. So if I decide not to vote, it means that it's either I'm not convinced about the two parties or the three parties or four parties, which are parties that are contested, or I said not to vote. If you look at Koku Rekit's persona, the way he presents himself, I believe the people of Cape Coast should not look anywhere, but rather see to it that Cape Coast, we need somebody who is outspoken. Cape Coast, we need somebody who is mature. It is not somebody who will be calling the shot and insulting people. We need somebody who is more mature, decent and decorous. So I will talk about uh, what we, we think the MCE today, who is also the PC for Cape Coast South, so far as NPP is concerned. I will not sit here and condemn that the PC today, uh, Honorable NS uh, has done nothing. Yes, he has done what he thinks he can do better. But if you look at the kind of resources that he has had, at his disposal and the kind of things that he has done today, it's it's I call it abysmal. <laughs> Shopping Ebenezer Parmesan is the Cape Coast South constituency secretary of the NPP. He was sure of victory for the party this time round. He's very popular with people, and then being the mayor, the kind of projects that for a very long time the people South has been learning for which is being done, being still by this government. We're talking about sea defense projects from Makano down to Epan, where the sea has eroded most of the 
communities and the oldest market, which is an alpha market, which is now being redeveloped to a modern market. And the dredging of Fossil Lagoon, for so long a time we've been complaining. And the government in and out didn't listen to the profit consult. But like this time around, the Precise Excellence in the Midang and then the Honorable Nesata in the New York, all these projects have been done. And then if you walk around time, you see that uh, and this did as far as some part and left most of the community, which is the Cape Coast are, but this time we've done all of them. And then the relationship that the man have with the people, but uh, the community can have with the people, Cape Coast are, is kind man, this is a good listener, and he's, he's done well trying to solve most of the people's personal problems. So I can say we have a good chance, but uh, there's no room for complacency. We are not living in this time. The NDC constituency secretary for Cape Coast South, George Justice Arthur, thinks otherwise. What he is planning to do for our youth is that is to create jobs for them. He himself is not going to create that job, but he's going to create access for them to have jobs to do. Uh, considering our people's manifesto, and uh, it will trickle down to. Uh, Cape Coast South and which Greco Ricketts Hagen for me I know his lobbying skills can do a lot for our youth in Cape Coast especially those who have acquired high education to get some place to be and those who couldn't get a chance to go to school we will consider them in the area of apprenticeship one thing that uh, our market women are crying seriously for because we have uh, had the opportunity to be with them and they, they were lamenting about it that they have been denied access especially those in Kotokraba market they have been denied access that uh, they were occupying the place and that when MPP came after President Mahama uh, commissioned the market uh, President promised President Mahama promised that they should be given their stores, stores and, uh, uh, and their place. As the adage goes, your vote is your power. For now, we can only wait for the constituents of Cape Coast South to either retain the incumbent member of parliament, Victoria Dix Hagen, or retire him. From Cape Coast, my name is Georgina Apia, reporting.